Hi everybody, welcome to a new video on DC23. Today's arrangement is a little bit different than the usual as I'm powering the unit using uh, a Poundland USB wall uh, charger and I'm also using my USB meter to check how much uh, current uh, the device draws during the operation. So while the DC23 is in idle mode waiting for uh, user interaction, the current absorbed is about 200 milliampere. I've covered the logo of the USB flash drive because um, yeah, the one to do advertisement or anything like that. And as you can guess, I've, I'm going to be damping syrup form the budget release. So let's get past to the logo and the credits. And uh, the first question that DC23 asks is the machine for which we're trying to pick uh, up the contents the dump file, so in this case C64, dump 0003 dump, press play on tape, and at this point the current drone is still 200 million per, roughly. Let's press play on tape, and as you can see the current has gone up slightly not a big amount, 240 million per. And the DC entry is getting uh, signal, which is quite useful to actually adjust uh, the azimuth of the tape player. In case it's 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 been moved and it's off its um, intended position, this version of the firmware the counter is active. So are the blue band that are reference bars for the usual. Uh, well, typical values found for um, CBM programs, which are programs essentially that were recorded and encoded using the standard um, Commodore tape loader that's um, available in the ROM of the Commodore 64. So you can see the voltage is, is quite consistent. Um, current varies a bit, but still, it, you know, we're below 300 million per. The reason for which I usually recommend uh, PSU, um, regulated PSU that can erogate at least one uh, one ampere, is because I'm, I'm not sure what non-Commodore tape loaders draw. So just to be on the safe side. Besides, there's not many switching PSUs I've seen recently that derogate less than, than that. So I wouldn't want to tell people, oh, you need a lift, uh, say, 300 million pair, and then they start asking questions, oh, I found this one, it, uh, it says one ampere, is it good or not? Then, you know, you get the point. But certainly we can say that, you know, the average is probably 230, 240 milliampere for DC-23. And this is while the tape player is uh, playing back tape. I 
I had a, for a brief moment, a 270 reading. But again, average is, I think it's fair to say that uh, it's less than 300 million pair. And I'll get to the end of this tape, which, which is due shortly. I think it's 89.90 on this counter, on the original counter. The DC-23 counter is slightly faster, or better, it doesn't slow down with time. So it takes at a, con a constant um, rate, which is two seconds and a half, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, so the data signal is finished. And anytime now, the tape player will auto stop. There you go. Dump 0003 closed. And the current drone has gone down to where it was when we started. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.